Hi friends, um, our book today is also about living things. Um, it is a nonfiction book. It is called They Call Me Wooly and it was written by Keith Duquette and it's all about different animals names and what that can tell us about the animals. So we can learn about maybe what they eat, what they look like, some special things they do, what habitats they live in, um, all by hearing an animal's name. So let's get started. I'm excited to read it with you today. They call me Wooly. What animal names can tell us? Blue-tongued or burrowing, woolly or whooping, there's much to discover in an animal's name. A name can, can tell you where an animal is from. The African elephant and the American alligator. So we can see our two animals um, on this page and their names tell us where they live. So the alligator lives in America here and the elephant lives in Africa. Or it can tell you about the animal's habitat, the polar bear and the mountain goat. So look at our polar bear. What habitat do you think it lives in? We talked about this one before our break. Or where it often roosts and nests. So roosts is a fancy word for where an animal makes its home. So the barn owl and the chimney swift. Where do you think the barn owl makes its nest, friends? Think about its name. Hmm. I think it lives in a barn. And then the chimney swift is this little bird right here. I don't know, friends. Let's think about where that one lives. I think it lives in a chimney. Some animals are named for how they move around. The grasshopper, the burrowing owl, and the road runner. Oh, I see some text features on this page. Do you see the bold print? Hmm, so that means those are words we need to know. Other animals are named for their calls. The howler monkey and the whooping crane. Or the sounds they make with their wings or tails. The hummingbird and the rattlesnake. Still others are named for the food they eat. The rat snake and the bee eater. The white shark, the blue marlin, and the yellow goatfish are named for their color. Some animals are named for their fur or skin. The woolly monkey and the thorny devil. Hmm. By looking at our pictures, do you see why those animals are have their names? Animals can be named for their unique features. The hammerhead shark, the long-eared bat, and blue-tongued the blue-tongued skink and the spoonbill. Hmm. The zebra butterfly, the leopard frog, and the tiger salamander are named for other animals with spots or stripes like theirs. Some animals look just like their names. The walking stick and the thorn bug, while others look nothing like what you might expect. The tarantula hawk and the woolly bear. Finally, some animals have names that tell you not to get too close. The Komodo dragon, the Tasmanian devil, the vampire bat, and the Gila monster. I loved reading this book with you today, friends, and learning about all the different animals and why their names make them so special and what we can learn from their names. I'm so excited to read another book with you again soon, and I'm really looking forward to it. Have a great rest of your day, friends. Bye!